my channel in today's video we will be doing my complete fragrance collection this is a highly 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 requested video i did one of these back in 2020 when my collection was about 4500 dollars i haven't calculated it yet but i'm pretty sure it's over 10 maybe 15 thousand dollars now we shall see um if you already read the title then you already know but i haven't calculated it yet so i really don't know but my collection has definitely expanded since then um and yeah if you like these types of videos definitely give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe check out some of my vlogs because i don't just talk about perfume okay i'm lying i totally do i even talk about them in my vlogs listen i love perfume okay as you can see also before we get into the video i do want to thank viffy for sponsoring today's video and partnering with me to do a one thousand dollar giveaway so i will be giving two paypals five hundred dollars each to go and buy yourself something nice take yourself out to dinner do a self-care day a spa day go get a massage your nails done do everything that you can to pour into your cup so all you have to do is comment below damn i smell good to enter the giveaway and i will be picking two girls to give five hundred dollar cash prizes to okay now let's jump into the video all right, you guys, before we jump into today's fragrance collection, I want to give a thanks to my sponsor, Viffy, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys did not know about Viffy, it is a web-based and app that allows content creators to bridge the gap between influencing and their word of mouth. So whenever you use your card, and it's super easy to link your card, it's not stored. You don't have to worry about that information being shared. But when you link your debit card or credit card, and when you shop with that card, you get subscription credits that you can use to subscribe to some of the premium content creators on the platform like myself. Now to get subscribed to one of the premium content creators, it's super easy. All you have to do is click subscribe and keep in mind that this will utilize one credit per month to get access to their premium content. Now for whatever reason, if you are unhappy with the premium content provided, you can always click unsubscribe by going into your subscriptions and unfollow and it's super easy. Now, like I said, as you use your card, you get credits to subscribe to premium content creators on the platform. Keep in mind your credit card information is not saved. These are the online retailers that are currently partnered and fragrance.net is one of them. So I definitely wanted to plug them in and let you guys know that a lot of these fragrances that I will be talking about in today's video can be purchased on fragrance.net and you will get credits if you use them and purchase through the Viffy platform. So do not forget to sign up. All you have to do is go to Viffy dot io backslash you backslash peyton charles to sign up today for free and you will get two free credits thanks again to viffy for sponsoring today's video now i will say that i'm not going to be talking about the notes or the price because it's a lot and we want to go ahead and get through this quickly but i will give you a little story if i have a little story to go with it just to let you know like baby these get the compliments okay so let's go ahead and jump into it Okay, the first fragrance is Marc Antoine Barras. This honestly smells like Nishani's Saffron Colonies, but this is so good. This is B683 Extra Eat. This is so freaking good, y'all. Every time I wear it, literally, the scent trail that it leaves, people are literally like, who is that? Like, somebody in here smells good because... I don't spray on a lot to where it's super loud, but when you walk in the room, it definitely projects to where like, even if I'm just sitting down and I'm not moving, this leaves a nice scent trail in the air to where when someone walks into my scent cloud, if you will, they're like, damn, somebody smell good. Like, who is that? And I'm like, it's me. 
y'all this is so freaking good definitely unisex but um it does lean more masculine the saffron in this makes it more masculine but if you are a unisex girl and you like unisex fragrances you will love this and you can get this on twisted lily okay use my code peyton 10 next we have nishane's hasibot this is so good oh god okay so if you've ever smelled creed aventus this definitely puts you in the mind of it um this one has pineapple i think creed has pineapple if i'm not mistaken but definitely unisex this is very 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 beautiful oh my god i layer this i wear it on its own i love it so much that i even went and got the body oil to it just to make it project even more this is a beautiful beautiful fragrance it's definitely going to get you compliments the bottle is a little basic it's great for the neutral aesthetic girls who you know love their beige honey but yeah you know beige bottle gold top what have you but this is a really really beautiful fragrance i don't own very many nishani scents i have this one in saffron colonies and when i tell you i cannot get enough of hasibot the first time that i smelled this and what made me buy it i was in neiman marcus and i was actually there to buy a aqua aqua I can't even remember because I don't have the bottle. I can't remember. It was a, it was a, it was, I was there to buy a different scent, okay? I smelled this on my sales rep. He had layered it with Baccarat. And when I tell you, every time he moved, he smelled so freaking good. I'm like, what are you wearing? Like, what, for, forget this. What are you wearing? And he said he had this on and I was like, I want it. Give me a bottle. Because I already own Baccarat, of course. Um, so I was like, I want it. Give me a bottle. Like, I love this scent, okay? Oh, it's so fresh. It's so clean. And you just need it. It's going to get you compliments. All right. The next scent is Love Don't Be Shy. Oh, fresh. So this one is a, I don't want to say watered down version of Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. But this one is a more wearable version for the summertime. But like all year round too. But like every time that I smelled the original I was just like, I don't understand why everybody like this. It's just doing too much. I felt like if I wore it, especially in the summertime, I felt like if I wore it, it was going to give me a headache or make me feel nauseous because certain scents when it's like really strong like this one or like love, the original Love Don't Be Shy, it makes me so nauseous and sick to my stomach. But I sprayed this one on. I went in Neiman Marcus because I was in one of those moods where I like, I just wanted to buy a new bottle of perfume. When I buy perfume, I, that's my favorite compliment is to be told I smell good. So when I buy perfume, it makes me feel good. Like I, oh, I, I want to get pretty so I can wear my new bottle. You know what I'm saying? So I went in Neiman Marcus to buy a new bottle of perfume and, I, and the guy uh, showed me this one. And I was like, okay, I really don't love love don't be shy like everybody like i'm so late to the function but i sprayed it on my wrist and i was like okay let me walk around see if i like it i had no intention on going back to buy it like literally i was just shooting shit you know what i'm saying i was like yeah you could just, <laughs> you could just spray it on my wrist and then i come back with a baby let me tell you i got to my car i literally drove back to Neiman Marcus because where I parked was like on the other side of the mile. I drove back to Neiman Marcus like five minutes before it closed and I was like, I want it. I need it. This is so freaking pretty. It has citrus notes in it. So it does make it more wearable in the summertime and not as strong, but it's a beautiful marshmallow scent that just, oh, and I like layering this with Baccarat as well. And let me tell you, you ain't you ain't seen a better combo. You ain't smelled a better combo until you pa pair this with Baccarat, baby. All right, the next scent is Le Labo's No. 13. Baby, let me tell you. This is so good. It's light. It's airy. It's crisp. You can go ham spraying this on. I mean, as you can see, I put a dent in it. And I literally never put dents in any of my bottles because I have so many. I wear this all the time. I wear this to bed. I wear this day to day. I wear this to the gym. I wear this on dates. This drives me in crazy, okay? It's something about in this scent that has like a love potion in it. It drives me in absolutely crazy. I remember one time I wore it to BMW and I was just sitting in the lobby and this guy walked in from outside. Of course, I was sitting right next to the door. He was like, 
someone smells so good i was like this is pressure. The first time I smelled it was on another YouTuber here on YouTube. Her name is Quante. We went to brunch. She sat down. I smelled it. And I, I didn't know if it was her or not. But every time someone walked past our table, they kind of like brought her centrial to my nose. And I'm like, is that you? What are you wearing? And she let me smell it on her wrist. And it was kind of faint because she had, had it on throughout the day so it was kind of like fading but you could still smell it i was like i have got to get that i think i went and got it the next day from nordstrom's and i've had it since 2021 as you can see because they customized the label so i've had this since april 2021 and this is the dent that i put in it and it literally has not changed. It still projects. It still smells good. It still turns head. It still gets compliments. Okay. Now while we're talking about Le Labo. We cannot not talk about Tonka 25. Y'all. Y'all. Okay. The first time I smelled it. I was like. This gives old lady. But you gotta put it on. You gotta spray it on. You gotta spray it on and let it dry down this is so freaking good it's mature i mean you really smell like you got your shit together like for real this turns heads get compliments you will look up and a nigga be staring at you from across the room and you be like excuse me sir what are you staring at but it's because he smell you because you smell that good all the way across the room you're the only one in the building that smell that good I ain't wore this one in so long but this one all-time fave it is Mansetta's instant crush i was actually just in the scent room the other day and a girl walked in and she was she was trying to buy it. oh my god why don't i wear you why i mean the bottle is basically full oh it's so good let me tell y'all the last time i wore this was when i went to mexico city and you cannot tell me that that lady didn't switch my body because after I wore it, it started smelling different on me. And I was like, I don't like this. I just ain't wore it in a while. That's all. Ooh, this is so good. Ooh, this is so good. This one turns heads too. It definitely gets compliments. I've had people literally smell this and ask me, can they buy my bottle? And I'm like, um... <laughs> I don't know you like that <laughs> but uh no next we have imaginaires blanche bet oh yeah i wore this today this perfume is so freaking pretty it's giving soft error it's giving feminine error it's giving energy it's giving ah, it's just this ain't unisex but i mean i feel like if i smell this on a man i'd be like are you wearing Blanche Bed? It, it smells so good. I wouldn't even mind smelling this on a man. But I feel like this is a very feminine scent. Can't tell you the notes. I do not know, honey. All I know is when I smelled it, I was sold. I went in Neiman Marcus one day. This was the same day that I bought the Nishane Hasibot. The sales clerk was like, you got to try this. I know you said that you like unisex, but you got to try this. This is a very feminine, soft scent. You're going to love it. So when he sprayed it on my wrist, I was like, um, no, <laughs> I don't uh, no, no, I don't know about this. Why? I didn't even get all the way out in Neiman Marcus. I didn't even get all the way out. I ended up turning back around and I was like, okay, you're right. I want it. And I had just bought the Hasibot. I was like, okay, you're right. I want it. He goes to the bed. He comes back and he's like, we're sold out. I'm like, okay, now I'm going to be thinking about this until it's back in stock. Like, I'm going to be obsessing over this perfume now because it smelled that good and I wanted it immediately. So I got sad because he was like, well, we can order it for you and it be a, it'll be there next day. First of all, Neiman Marcus, that's a lie. Stop telling people that. Tell your sales assistants to stop telling people that because it ain't never going to be there next day. I, I have never gotten anything next day when I ordered anything from Neiman Marcus, first of all. Second of all, I was like, you know what? I just come back. You know, it's, it's okay. It, it's, it is what it is. I bought a perfume for the day, whatever. I'm walking out. I didn't even get all the way out. 
he comes, he runs to me and he has like six bottles in his hand, like six boxes in his hand. He was like, I found them. And I'm like, oh my God. Now this is a pretty expensive uh, fragrance, but so worth it. Okay, next scent is Baccarat. Okay, we all know about MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540. I am on my second bottle. I will never, never, never stop wearing this. I layer it with scents all the time because it's that girl. It will always be that girl. Like nothing tops Baccarat in my opinion. I'm, I'm that crazy about it and I can confidently say nothing tops Baccarat. I mean, y'all know the tea on Baccarat. I ain't got to talk about it. Next scent, Gentle Fluidity Silver. So, a lot of people love the gold instead of the silver. But if you've ever smelled the silver, you can even layer the silver with Baccarat. If you've ever smelled the silver and you are a unisex girl, you will love the silver more than the gold. Now, don't get me wrong. I actually love the gold. I love the gold, but I don't own the gold because I have another scent that smells like it. We'll get that into that later. But this is a beautiful, beautiful unisex scent. It's light. It's airy. Don't go crazy with this, though, because it could give you a headache. It's, it is, has the potential to do that to you or make you nauseous if you overspray it. But this is just so freaking good. Oh! Next, we have Ex Nailo Explicite. This was a gift from my good friend, Ray. This is a beautiful, sweet, crispy, like, ugh, like it's not spicy, but it's very sweet and crispy. I've only worn this once or twice, once to bed, and I've worn it out. Um, I like it. It definitely does turn heads and leave a beautiful scent trail. However, there's a note in it that kind of annoys me a little bit. So I don't wear this as often because there's a note in it that just, if I overspray it, it gets on my nerves. But I still love it and it still gets compliments because I actually smell this on Ray. And I was like, oh my God, you smell so good. I kept telling him he smelled good all night. So he ended up buying it for me. On me, it definitely wears different. Um, I get a lot of that sweet note out of it when it wears on me for some reason with my chemistry. And there's a note in it, like I said, that just annoys me a little bit. So I don't wear it as much, but I still love it. Next, we have YSL Mon Pri. This was when I was in my feminine era. Baby, I got this when I hit a boyfriend. Cause this is so sweet. It's like candy sweet, but it's very beautiful. It is very beautiful. As you can see, this is like a brand new bottle, baby. I never, I, when I say I never reach for this, I never wear it because it's that sweet. It's like, it's like gummy bear sweet. And I don't typically flock to those type of scents i do need to try layering it with something like uh marshmallow or vanilla or something like that so i can bring a bring one of the notes that i do like in this out but i don't wear it as much wait a minute now i got two bottles child what the hell is this this is ysl too wait what Okay, I got two mom for these. This must be the originals because I actually did put a dent in this one. What does one smell like? I... Oh, this pretty. Okay, I like this one. I see why this one got a dent in it. See, that one is sweet. I forgot which version that one is. We're going to have to look it up. We're going to have to look it up. But this one. This one is very sweet and pretty, like it's a champagne type of scent. I like this one. As you can see, you can see I like this one. Okay, the next one. Oh, baby, this is my baby right here. This is my baby. I listen. Me, me and her had some. We had some good times. Miss Dior by Dior. This is so feminine. This is so feminine. This is very much boss bitch. Even though this is a designer fragrance, like department store designer, like you can damn near get this in Marshall's now, child. Maybe, I don't know. I could be wrong. But it still gives. This is so mature. This is rich. This is, oh, she got her shit together and a lot of money in the bank. When you smell this, it gives niche because it's that rich. It's a very mature, rich, wealthy, old money. <laughs> you know, Dior, you... All right, now who would I be if I didn't own 
Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. Who would I be? Who would I be? Okay. Can you even say you are a bad bitch if you don't own this fragrance? Can you? This is so good. This might be the best scent that Chanel has. Now, Chanel does have a niche line. I just went in there the other day and smelled it. Didn't wow me, but I didn't smell all of them. But nothing tops Mademoiselle. Every time I smell Mademoiselle on someone, I end up asking them what they're wearing if I don't guess it. Because, I mean, this is a very unique scent. No one has duplicated this. It cannot be replicated. I have never smelled another scent that smells remotely like Mademoiselle. So when I smell it on somebody, I can almost guess what they're wearing unless they layer it with something else. And I'm always, always, always complimenting a person that's wearing this. And I'm always surprised when they say they have on Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. And I'm like, I get that. It don't smell like that on me. I but listen, if you don't have it, to this day, you still need it. Okay, next scent is Coco Chanel Eau de Parfum. This is, oh, why don't I wear this? This is good. This definitely smells like something Coco probably wore all the time before she went on to the upper room. It's, it definitely gives all money. This definitely gives... Oh, this is beautiful. I need to wear this more often. Why did I think this was Coco Noir? Maybe I gave Coco Noir away. Because I could have sworn that I had Coco Noir. This isn't. This is just Coco. And it's a beautiful fragrance. I might wear this tomorrow. This is good. Next we have Coco Gabrielle. Now, I do not wear this at all. I do not wear this at all. This was gifted to me by a man that I was intending on being my sugar daddy, baby. I don't wear this at all. I don't wear it. I should probably give it away or give it to somebody because it does absolutely nothing for me. And it's too sweet and it's too mature. Like, it's one of them sweet old lady sweets. Like, you can't tell me that Rose Blanche and Sophia didn't fight over this in the department store back in the Golden Girl days. You can't tell me. Next, we have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is the O Intense version because, come on now, we do need Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue to project even more. It's so light that you can't barely smell it, but this will forever be that girl. This is just like Baccarat when it, when it comes to being that girl. This will forever be that girl. Like It's not unique enough to where if you smell it, you can't tell what someone's wearing but like it belongs in your collection of fragrances as you can see i did a nice dent in it because i love it that much next on the docket is nishane's saffron colonies this was gifted to me by a friend love it the saffron is very prominent in this one i want to say the saffron in this one is just as prominent as it is in the b683 extra eight by uh, mark antoine bodies like i said these scents smell very similar to each other it's very beautiful unisex look at the dent i, I put a nice little dent in i mean like i said i love it i love me a unisex scent um and yeah that girl Next on the docket is Mimosa and Cardamom by Jo Malone. And yes, I am a Jo Malone girl. Jo Malone ambassador. Meet and greet coming up in October. Our third meet and greet. Yes, Mimosa and Cardamom is so doggone beautiful, y'all. I wear this to bed at night. And when I tell y'all I have some of the best dreams, Drake be coming in my dreams. <laughs> Girl, Drake be popping up in my dreams telling me how good I smell in my sleep. Trying to kiss me on my neck and stuff. Then we, why are we talking about Joe Malone? Yes, I do have wood, sage, and sea salt because why not? This is so light and airy. I won't say it lasts long though. This, in my opinion, is not an eau de parfum. This is more like a toilet and how it performs, but it's still very beautiful. You can layer it with the body lotion. It's very moisturizing. I tell everybody that their body cream literally is like eucerin times 20. If you have eczema, they Jo Malone literally has the best body cream on the market. And it's just that on it. 
And Wood Sage and Sea Salt is just a beautiful summer fragrance. Like, take this on vacation with you. You can wear this the entire time. I swear, people will turn heads and you will get a lot of compliments. But keep it in your purse because, the, you know, the scent don't last that long. Next, we have a Barreto scent. This is Bibliotech. Now, I don't wear this that much but the other day i sprayed it on and i'm like girl why you don't wear this bibliotech is that girl like this is so pretty it's like a fruity oh god it's like a fruity smoky scent i can't tell you the notes i do not know we we're not gonna get in notes because this video is gonna be long as hell but this is really good i highly recommend you going into the store and trying it i know that this is a fave on youtube with a lot of girls this was actually gifted to me on my 37th birthday i want to say 37 or 38 like i said i don't wear it that much but i should because it definitely gets compliments when i do wear it but i tend to flock more to the sense that i get the most compliments but i do get compliments when i wear it i just don't wear it that often Y'all, I still smell that YSL mom put it. It smells so good in my room right now. Okay, now we over on this side. So we have a few Mason Cavelli scents. The first one is Santal Valkanique. Listen, the scent trail that this leaves is absolutely amazing. I want to say I smell lavender in this. Um, but when I wore this, it's the funniest story. When I wore this, I wore it over my friend's house one night. We were just having like a girl's night and I end up falling asleep. Every time I, she stays so far, I can't help but fall asleep over her house, baby. Because who going to drive 45 minutes late at night at 2 o'clock in the morning? So I end up falling asleep in her bed at the end of her bed and she just put a blanket over me. She called me the next day literally asking me, what did I have on? Because she could still smell it on her bed and in her blanket. This leaves the most beautiful scent trail and sticks to your clothes. Not only does it stick to your skin, but it sticks to your clothes. If you have not smelled this, go smell this. It smells so good. It's perfect to wear when you're going to sleep at night too. The next one is Iris Molly Khan. This is also a Mason Cervelli scent. I don't wear this one that much because of the iris but it's really really pretty you just for me i have to be careful how i wear this i can't spray it in certain areas where it will linger up to my nose because i start getting nauseous because the iris is very prominent in this and it is a very very strong scent as you can see as opposed to the other scents that i have from this house this one is darker so it gives like it's gonna project more like it's it's a stronger version than the other scents but it's so doggone pretty. It's so good and unisex. Okay, and the last scent that I have from that house is Papyrus Molecular. Let me tell you, I've sold this scent out twice. Twice on Twisted Lily. Look at the dent that I've made. I have walked in the club, y'all. Okay, when I, you know, back in my club days, whatever. I walked in the club and literally this man, when I tell you, cause I mean, okay, this is normal. When you walk in, when you walk in the club and you cue, yeah, man gonna grab your hand. But he grabbed my hand and literally held my hand and walked me to the other side of the club asking to talk to me. And I'm like, I'm coming back. Let me give me a drink first. I never went back because he had locks and I, I don't like men with locks. This I like ball cut fades. I like, you know, I like little low cut fade with a little Caesar with the deep waves. Yeah, but that night i got so much attention i would say that it was because of how good i smelled because i mean a person gonna smell you first i mean because you could be cute with stanky breath you know what i'm saying that's just gonna ruin it for you it's all about the pheromones and how good you smell okay on top of being cute yeah and conversation because that ruined the nation as you can see you see why i got a dead in it the next scent is Pen Halligan's How Fetty. Oh, okay. This is another saffron scent. You will notice that I have a lot of scents with saffron in it because I love it. Saffron not only helps boost your mood, but it helps with nausea. Like, girl, read the benefits of saffron, <laughs> okay? Read them and get back to me, okay? This is so freaking good. Unisex projects good love it so much i got the body lotion this was gifted to me of course by my good friend ray because he know i love scents with saffron and i'm so happy that he got this for me because i wouldn't have known about it if he didn't and it's just it's so good like chef's kiss it really is and it's going to turn heads and get you compliments next on the docket is zerjov casamarati's dama bianca oh my god y'all this is so creamy and freaking beautiful 
Oh, Lord. Okay. It puts you in the mind of Gentle Fluidity Gold a little bit in Cabbage Club by Zerjoff. We'll talk about that later. But this is a creamier version. It almost smells like it got vanilla ice cream in it. Added on top of that. I want to say amber. I don't know, but this is so freaking good. I could not stop smelling my wrist when I wore it. And I lit when I tell you, turn heads, turns heads. This is a compliment magnet, okay? Because you know I don't gatekeep. I'm going to tell you, girl. Next on the docket is Panadora's Imperial Wood. Y'all, if you love Tom Ford Lost Cherry, you will love this scent. First of all, the bottle is beautiful. Now, when you first spray it on, it comes off like Tom Ford Lost Cherry. But then the dry down turns into this smoky, woody, very date night, beautiful, sultry, sexy scent. Like, how can you not? How can you not? Like, how can you make a scent that smells like cherry, but doesn't have a cherry note? Like, that is just amazing okay and the compliments will not stop the entire night i'm telling you your man gonna be all over you i have recommended this fragrance in my vlogs and my paypals went to buy them and the stories that they share with me because you know we be getting jiggy in the dms baby the stories that they share with me when they wear it is <laughs> pressure i told y'all i love coco chanel mademoiselle so much look at this a whole nother bottle all right, next we have La Vie et Belle. A PayPal bought me this when I first started vlogging. I remember getting this in a PR unboxing. And y'all, I don't wear this that much, but this is so freaking good. It's so freaking good. It's soft. It's feminine. It's beautiful. It's like when I think of a girl in her soft era, this is the scent that I think of. Cause you know we every year we come out with a new era, baby. We next year gonna be old money era, okay? Oh, can we talk? Cartier, La Panther. Maybe I'm not saying that right. It's possible, but could not stop telling my home girl when we went to dinner one night. She had this on. Now she's a little bit older than me, um, and this is a mature scent. I don't feel like any woman can wear this you have to have confidence you have to have wisdom maturity um sophistication okay this is a very strong scent it projects you do not have to spray this tss, 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 tss. you know how we be doing bakara you don't have to do that one spray right here and and you know how they say don't do this you want to do this with this one. This so doggone strong. If you overspray it, don't tip, don't say I ain't warn you. You're gonna have the worst headache. You gonna, you ain't even gonna have a headache. You gonna have a migraine. Do not overspray this. This is so good. You see, I ain't putting no dent in it because I literally spray it one time and that's it. It projects, it's very strong. It took me a while to get this one. This is YSL Libre. It took me a while to get this one. And the only reason why I got it is because I smelled it on someone else. And she had layered it with Baccarat. And when I tell you, I think I might have told her she smelled good a hundred times that night. This smells... So I, I, I don't see myself ever wearing it alone. Oh! I, yeah, I just... Hmm. <laughs> yeah i don't see myself ever wearing it alone but it smells so good layered with baccarat this is just not my type of scent on its own by itself it's very strong it puts me in the mind of love don't be shy like that type of strong like it's just not wearable alone i don't see how anybody worry about it by itself but layered with baccarat though pressure Okay, the next scent is Argo's Triumph of Bacchus. Baby. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So when I smell this, it put me in the mind of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. That is a scent that I do not own. I just can't make myself spend that much money on it. Little bitty bottle and it does not perform well. You know, I've heard the stories. I've heard the horror stories about it. I don't own it. But when I smell something that puts me in the mind of it, I get it. And this literally, honestly, smells like Tom Ford Lost Cherry mixed with Gentle Fluidity Gold. 
It's so freaking beautiful, y'all. Ugh! I can't get enough of it. I can't get enough of it. And literally, this not only put the foot on next, but break the next as well. Because, I mean, if you're going to put the foot on it, you might as well break it. All right, next we got Will Germain's Passion Victim. Another scent with saffron. This reminds me of How Fetty. Like, no lie, this reminds me of How Fetty. It's very beautiful. Like, when I don't want to spray How Fetty, I can spray this on and kind of get that same vibe. And it projects really, really well. Like, oh, this is so good. Ooh, beautiful. That is so pretty, y'all. It smells so good in here. Okay, the next one is an old favorite. This is Tom Ford Orchid Soleil. Okay, let me tell you the story on how I ended up buying this. Because if you ever go in the store and smell this and do one of these, like smell it on the bottle, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Because it stank. I ain't even going to lie. It stank when you just smelling it. Even when I'm doing it like this, it stank. But let this dry down. I ain't even understand the term dry down until I bought this scent. Because generally, I'm used to spraying on scents and the initial sillage smells exactly how it smells on the dry down, right? This changes on the dry down to something so beautiful and vacation type, beachy like. I smelled this on uh, a girl one time. We were at the strip club. She had this on. And I kept telling her she smelled good. I'm like, what are you wearing? She said she had this. I went and bought it. When I went to the store to smell it, and I smelled the bottle like this, I was like, what the hell? Like, this can't be what she That bitch lied to me. But I, I let it sit on my wrist, and it turned into what she had on. It's, this is like a magical scent. It's so crazy, but it smells so good. Now, have I worn it in a really long time? No. It's possibly expired, but I'm not going to get rid of it. And I have done a nice dent in it, okay? I used to wear the shit out of this. It's right here now. Next scent is Haramarin Amber Oud, y'all. This is the gold edition. This is so pretty. It reminds me of Instant Crush. So I have done a little dent in it, not too much. I actually bought this from a perfume wholesaler out in Irving. I remember I wore this out one night. I had on a purple romper. And my I was out with my homeboy Juice. And he kept telling me how good I smelled at night. And I had this on. Haven't worn it again since. But I can definitely attest that this gets a lot of compliments. And you never know. You might move to the next level with somebody. Who knows? Next we have Amber Fever by Mancetta. This is... Oh, wait, I don't understand why I don't wear this more often. This is so beautiful. This was gifted to me for Christmas by PayPal. And when I tell you, sis, I love you because me and you got the same nose. We are here. We're here. Okay. Oh, y'all, this is so good. You know what? This kind of smells like Baccarat a little bit with, with amber. Oh, we got to put this to the front of the line, baby. You got to be on the front line. This is so damn good. I be sleeping on this, but this is good. It also kind of smells like, where is it? Where is it? Montal's Sensual Instinct. Listen, I got too many bottles of perfume. My head to let my camera cool off. It got hot. Okay, now we in the black. The black. Starting from the top, we have Accord Particulier by Givenchy. Now, you can't get this in the States. Don't ask me why, but this is a good one, okay? They wanted to keep this a secret. They ain't want Americans to know about this, baby. They wanted to keep this a secret. You can only get this in Dubai and Qatar. Oh, but this so doggone good, y'all. This is so good. This is one from their niche line. Mm, it's, it's light, it's airy, it's unique. If you got this, you're that girl. Then we have Grishanel Extra Eats. Mine is Autographs by the actual perfumer. This is so good. Mmm, this is so good. It has fig in it, Madagascar vanilla. Oh, I said we're not talking about notes, but let me tell you, this is so 
freaking good every time i wear this i get compliments it's unisex it's gorgeous okay i love it so much that i decided to get the original version so i also have the original version and i love this one i love this one just as much actually i think i might love this one more because the fig is like a little more prominent in this one it's it's so damn good y'all next we have oud for greatness and y'all know if you watch my vlogs y'all know how i feel about these i wonder how much i got left in this because i can't see inside the bottle this so doggone good this is another one of my scents that has saffron in it but i'm telling you can't be duplicated cannot 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 be duplicated wait a minute i'm lying because i actually have something that smells just like it called saffron from Ramasot. <sighs> it's literally the same scent <laughs> that's so crazy this is literally oh for greatness in a body mist you can get this in dubai all right next on the docket is tiziana terenzi's haley's this was gifted to me by Ray, my good friend. This smells so good. I don't put a nice little dent in this one too. This one leaves a nice scent trail, beautiful compliment magnet, and it sticks to your clothes, okay? You're going to walk in your closet and smell this because it sticks to your clothes. I have a trench coat that I wore um, when I wore this in New York, and my trench coat still smells like this, and it's been months. Like that was literally like in December. I could still smell this on my trench coat. Next we have Harmonist Hypnotizing Fire. This so doggone pretty y'all. Oh wee, this is so freaking good. Now when I think about this, I think about this in the falls, fall and winter. I have not even remotely attempted to wear this in the summer just because it gives date, night, evening, fall vibes and maybe this the hypnotizing fire part like but this is so doggone pretty and feminine i love it i don't think that this is unisex per se it could be there's a note in this that just makes it so soft girl that girl it girl next we have commodity milk plus this is the bold this is good. I don't wear it that much. I don't wear it at all, actually. I'm crazy. But this is so good and pretty. I should wear it. It comes off like creamy champagne. Like what? Ah, This is good. Total compliment magnet. I've heard stories. Like I said, I don't wear it as much. I went in Sephora one day and I was like, oh, what's this? Got bought it, but never wear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to stop doing it. I might wear it to bed tonight because you smell good. Next, we have La Marousse. This is a rebel scent. I want to say this was $12. And I wore this one night. I was dating a Caucasian man. And he liked this so much. He No, you know what? This is a $30 bottle. He liked this so much that he wanted to buy this from me. And I would not sell it to him. Even though it was a $30 bottle and I knew that I could replenish it and replace it. I was like, no. Go on Rebel Sense and buy it yourself. People always be trying to get, take stuff from me. Like, God, dog. Can I, can I attract some givers? Next on the docket is Joe Malone's Mir and Tonka. Oh, my God, y'all the chokehold that this had me in last year baby this had me in a choke hole the body cream the shower oil the perfume the candle choke hold it's that good then we have ysl black opium the first time i smelled this i was driving lift yeah I did that. Uh huh. I was driving left here in Dallas and somebody got in my car wearing this. And I was like, girl, you smell good. What you got on? And she said, why sell black opium? And I went and bought it the next day. Oh, how me and you have had fun. This is Valentino born in. Uh, child, what is this? You know what? It's Valentino. This is a man's fragrance. Okay. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you. 
It can be unisex. It definitely has that note that's like, girl, don't put this on. This is for a man. But if you a strong, bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? You put shit together. You put shit together and you put that shit on and you get your shit together. You can wear this. I have had some great times with this perfume, okay? With this cologne. I have, okay? Go watch some of my other perfume reviews and with me talking about this. I have a little story time that you might be interested because... Next on the dock ad, we have Diptyque Tempo. Another scent that literally turns heads that I never wear. I got so many scents, y'all. I can't even just say that I never wear them. I just have my favorites, right? This I love. I just never wear it. But every time I do wear it, I have, I have stories, okay? This is so freaking beautiful. Ooh! Next, we have another Joe Malone scent. This is the Vetiver and Golden Vanilla. I remember the last time I wore this. Oh, this, this, this smells so good. Every time I smell it, it's so nostalgic because I wore this literally the whole time I was in Turkey getting my teeth done. And i never forget, I had this on when I went and rode that horse. That horse was giving me so much trouble, but I later found out that it was probably because I was on my cycle. And horses don't like you riding them when they on your when you on your cycle. I don't know what's that about. I mean, it's natural. Next, we got Tom Ford Ombre Leather, a fan fave. Definitely get compliments. I got a little bitty bottle because I wanted to try it first. This, this was a blind buy, but I love it. it it's heavy on the leather. It's definitely heavy on the leather. And I want to say, I ain't got that much love because when I bought this, I wore it all the time. And I had some good times anytime you need it, baby. Anytime you need a friend. Next we have Georgia Armani C. This is, this is definitely a champagne type of scent. It's really, really pretty. I ain't wore this in a long time. Ooh. I, oh, yeah, it's very champagne. Champagne y. It's very champagne y. But it's so, so pretty. Compliment magnet for sure. Feminine, even though it's giving, it's, it's giving unisex, I bet not see a man wearing it. I bet not smell this on a man. This is very feminine. Might be because that's why I don't wear it that much because I'm smelling it on my wrist. And, and I feel like I'm getting nauseous. I need some coffee beans. This has been a lot. Like we might have to do a part two, baby. I'm just on. I'm just on the third shelf. I got two more shelves to go. I'm tired. Next scent from the MFK house is Oud Set and Mood. Let me tell you, this has been a regret for me. The people love it. This makes me nauseous. I talk about scents making me nauseous all the time this is probably one of them scents that i have to spray on my clothes and leave it on my clothes for like a few hours like spray on my clothes early in the day if i know that i want to wear this and then put it on but like not put it on my skin on any of my post points this scent literally makes me sick to my stomach it is so crazy like i don't i don't understand why i bought it but it get, it get compliments because I remember the last time I wore the man told me how good I smell. I'm like, I do. Okay, the last scent from the BDK house that I have is BDK's Pesce Soir. This is so doggone good. This is so doggone good. This is a vacation scent to me. Like, every time I smell it, I think about vacation. But I wear it day to day. Like, I'll wear it to the gym because it smells that beautiful. Like, it's just a very pretty feminine scent. How can you not get compliments when you smell like a soft feminine girl that just submits? You know, whatever you say, daddy. That's what you smell like. You smell like a girl that just be like, okay, yeah, I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and cook you some green eggs and ham. Next, we have Byron Parfums Black Dragon. What a pretty bottle. This was actually just gifted to me, so I have not had the opportunity to wear it yet and see how it performs and, you know, you know what story times I have with the baby, but it's a very beautiful scent. Okay, and the last scent is Parfum de Marley Herod. I'm going to pause and we're going to do a part two 
um and come back and talk more about the rest of the scents in my collection because this video long as hell and i'm tired i'm sleepy i'm ready to wash this makeup off take a shower and get in the bed i'm getting a headache but this is a man's fragrance but it reminds me of bdk's grisha nail so in my opinion it's unisex like now the bottle is given this is for a man okay get this to your boyfriend but i ain't got one of them so i'm gonna wear it myself hello i smell fig in it i'm not sure if fig is in this but this is very like figgy and smoky and very very beautiful i feel like i can get away with wearing it it smell like a rich bitch honestly all right you guys that is the end of part one i thought i was gonna be able to do this video in one sitting but no ma'am i'm tired in my nose burning a little bit i need some coffee beans and i'm starting to get a little headache i want to get in the shower take this makeup off and get in the bed because i had got pretty for y'all and i ain't put makeup on in a real long time so i hope i don't break out but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video stay tuned for part two and i'll see you in the next fragrance collection video soon Jersey!